After burning our homemade oxygen cylinder stove for 37 days straight, new personal record, uh, we're out of wood right here on the property anyways. So I have a waste oil furnace. It's not finished, but it's functional. Um, let's hook it up. I mean, it, it's proven itself reliable and safe enough that we can do our test burns in here. So we're going to turn this around. Um, we're going to drag that bench that I think is out of the shot over here. We're going to put it on top of the bench, the oil furnace, I mean. So we don't have to bend over so far. And we're going to have to get um, a T. We're going to commit the ultimate building code violation. We're going to T this into our wood stove flue pipe. I wanted to give it its own separate stack. I don't know. Let's try this first. If it doesn't work, we take it down and we do what our original plan was and uh, run a vent pipe out the other side of the garage. But I digress. Let's turn this around. Let's move some junk and we'll get back to you. Yep, that's my fire tool, a jack handle. So here we are, it's about nine and a half hours later, and uh, we got the waste oil furnace hooked up in the garage. I don't like the, I don't like the feng shui of this. We're gonna put the wood stove back here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put the wood stove back over here, front and center, like I like it. And we're gonna put this over there and vent it out that window like I originally wanted to do. I know it's cool, but it's not the same thing.